whooping cough from being reported now that kids are back in school. Shelley Walcott is live with that story. Shelley. Well, Jake and Carol, Wisconsin is leading the nation in the whooping cough outbreak. There have been nearly 3,500 cases in the state so far this year, and that has parents and doctors on alert. Parents like Nicole Lason aren't taking any chances. She just had her four-year-old vaccinated against pertussis or whooping cough, and her two-year-old is up next. The feeling was just that if, if we could avoid him, getting sick. The Milwaukee Health Department says nine Milwaukee area schools have reported whooping cough cases since the school year started. One university and an after school program have also been affected. Yes, we have had multiple cases this year already. Pediatrician Dr. Sarah Hambrook says pertussis usually starts with a cold and gets worse. Where you have coughing jags that you just keep coughing, 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 coughing until there's no air left in your lungs and then you take a whoop and that's why it's called whooping cough. Schools affected by whooping cough usually send home letters. The doctor says that's when parents should bring their children in. It can last for weeks and weeks and weeks if you don't catch it early enough. And it can be deadly, especially among infants. Enough reason to worry about the rise around Milwaukee and enough of a reason for parents like Nicole to get her children vaccinated. If something happens, you deal with it when it comes and, and just roll with, roll with the punches, I guess. And you know, Dr. Hambrook is very concerned about the whooping cough outbreak, not just because she's a doctor, but because she's had a very personal experience with it. We'll tell you more about that coming up on Live at 6. On your side, live at the Health Department downtown, I'm Shelley Walker. Today's TMJ4.